Hi everybody, we're going to talk about production chains in Farming Simulator 22. We're going to start off this series with the wool production by our friendly sheep family. Here, as you can see, I've already been saving some pallets for you, which has actually been produced like in two nights or something like that. So we're going to load these pallets on the trailer and um, then we're going to deliver them to the spinnery, which I have already bought myself. If you want to have this whole production chain into your possession, you have to have sheep, you have to have a spinnery and you need to have a tailor shop as well to actually have the process in your possession from A to Z. And as I will show you in the end, it's quite a profitable thing to do. Sheep look boring, but when you see the numbers at the end, they're not so boring anymore, I promise you. So just hang tight. So I'm just a hero in placing my trailer in the most horrible position ever. As you can see here, so it gives me quite a challenge to actually get my pallets onto my trailer without uh, bumping into my table and into my other pallets. And I'm not going to show you how I load the other ones because I think you know how to load a ticket trailer, right? Back it up, hook it on, don't forget the straps because you won't be the first one with um, flying pallets. That's my specialty. So here, uh, this field is just being redone so I can just drive through it, no issue. It's just been harvested. There's a working worker busy with that field in the moment. So. I can just focus on my wool production chain here. Whoops, just missed the board. Okay, so here's the spinnery. This is the American map, by the way. And you just unload the trailer here. Well, technically the trailer is unloading itself as soon as the, tra uh, the, the pallets um, end up on top of the logo. So now the trailer is empty and as you can hear, the spinnery is starting to do its job. You can see in your, um, uh, uh, when you go to production chains in your menu, you can see what's actually happening. You can see that you need uh, 60 wool for 30 pieces of fabric and that there is some processing going on here. So if you want to see the real-time process uh, level, you can just hop out of the tractor here and you can just see it next to your spinnery because these numbers will just uh, go with the flow as the process is going on. So that's just awesome. So we just skipped the night and it's morning again and see if there's any... Oh my gosh, look at that pallet. It's like uh, Joseph's dream coat. So many colors. It's like all of the colors of the rainbow. How pretty is that? I'm trying to pick it up, but I don't think that's working. It's like 500, 560 kilos. I think I'm just gonna use my tractor to do this. That's what I have it for, right? Let's see how many pallets of stuff we need to get uh, our tailor shop going. I just built my tailor shop on the other side of the road in between my sheep barn and the spinnery just to make life easy. But again, I'm not the best planner so I made the, uh, the precious mistake of building it on a steep slope. Yeah, that's okay. I can sort of handle it. So now we just deliver this pallet with fabric to the tailor shop and see what's gonna happen there. So this pallet's gonna unload and I love the way that they're just gonna disappear one by one so that you can see actually all the colors that are on that pallet. So here it says there is no production going on yet. So apparently we have to activate it somehow. We have to get into the menu and see what we can do there. All right, production chains, clothes, tailor shop, and there is the activate button. So hit that one and we'll just wait until a pallet starts to appear. And there it is. I have to tell you, it took me two pallets of fabric to get one pallet of clothes out of here, but that's okay, just so you know, two pallets of fabric will produce one pallet of t-shirts. And I love them. Honestly, how cute. These boxes. 
So now just pick it up and see if we can deliver it somewhere to get some money flowing in instead of money flowing out. That's what we do it for, right? So let's see where we can sell this stuff. There is so much stuff going on here in Farming Simulator 22, it's hard to find stuff. So here we go, clothes, the grocery mart. Okay, so let's tag the place and see where we're gonna go. 28,000 is what they say. Let's see how much we're actually gonna get for it. So it's one pallet of clothes, it's a thousand liters. And yep, we did get the 28,000. Oh my goodness, man. People, this is a good price for your work here. Seriously, those sheep has been, have been amazing. Thank you, girls. Thank you so much. And thank you too for watching. Bye-bye.